Okay, in this video, I'm going to show you the final product. As you can see, all of my furniture has been painted and distressed. And I just want to talk about a couple of things real quick. Whenever I was doing my dresser in my bed, I got a hold of a couple of cans that um, I think were not, something was wrong with them. And they splattered this texture on the furniture and it kind of freaked me out. But it's no big deal if that happens to you. I just grabbed another can. I used my fine sandpaper. It was 120 grit. And I just lightly sanded the texture off and it was really smooth. And then I spray painted right over it. So that was no big deal. If that happens to you, don't don't panic. Just go get another can. Um, try to exchange it. I didn't do that. But anyway, um, the other question that I had was how did you do the drawers? And as you can see, there's overspray on the drawers. It's only because I did not care about the overspray. And I had so many drawers with the nightstands and this dresser that that was too much work for me. So I pulled them all out and then I laid them down with the front facing me. And then I just went through after I used the 409 degreaser, someone gave me a question about that. Um, I first prepped the furniture with 409 degreaser. I just sprayed it on paper towels and then I wiped it. And then some of the drawers, I sprayed it right on the furniture and then wiped it. It doesn't matter how you do it. It just helps get any kind of finger oils or any, any kind of um, dirt or grime or anything off. Um, that's just the way I like to do it. So I just had them all, took all the hardware off, pulled all the drawers out, set them up facing me. Then I went through with the same fashion as I did before. I did one small coat, one thin coat, and then came back after it dried overnight and sprayed it until it was solid. Went through the same process of distressing using the heavier, fine, or the heavier sandpaper. And I went through and distressed a little bit more on my nightstands and the, the drawers and then I sealed it with the clear wax and then I went back and I used this brush which is a more professional brush it's a $25 brush you can purchase these at antique malls that sell chalk paint but I only recommend using this or purchasing this if you're gonna do multiple projects um, if you're only gonna do one piece stick with more inexpensive tools like a handheld paintbrush um, it does as good of a job, but if you're doing multiple things, this is a little bit easier to use and work with. So, Then the last thing that I'll go over is um, the gel stain on top. I used a handheld foam brush on my nightstand in the last video that you watched, and um, this is a much better tool. So I just wanted to update you on that. Just get a, a foam roller. Do the same technique, stir up your gel stain, pour it in a plate or you know, a paint tray, get some product on your brush, and then you just come back and forth like this, and it just did a much better job than the foam uh, handheld roller, I mean handheld um, brush. And I just went just like this, over and over. And there you have it. I hope this was encouraging to you, and if you have any more questions, please um, email me or leave a comment.